Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for November 1st through November 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, and this has been my full-time work for over two and a half years now. So the link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. You can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. Uh, again, the link is below and all the information is there. Let's see, we're gonna be, uh, Mercury's moving direct in the first few days. We've got the US elections. I know energy is, is just really heightened right now. So hopefully you're staying grounded, you're staying centered, you're taking you know rest as needed. And I'm just sending you all my love. So that's it, we're gonna get straight into the readings. Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for November 1st through November 15th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled. So we'll just get straight into it. Okay, Aquarius, wow, starting out with King of Wands, Hanged Man, and the Fool card. I feel this is about someone you are dealing with, okay? Actually, all three of these cards. Um, King of Wands, if you've been dealing with someone whose maybe attention has been elsewhere, maybe it hasn't been fully on you, fully on the relationship, you haven't been clear if they're wanting to pursue this or what their feelings are for you. I just feel something's been a little unclear, but I think this King of Wands energy, so you could be dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I'm getting the sense they've had a lot going on right now and they're just their focus and their attention has been elsewhere. It's nothing about you, um, so don't take it personal uh, because I've got the hanged man here. So their hands have been a bit tied. They've been dealing with some things and it's caused a delay, a stall, uh, you know, leaving space where you're questioning what's happening, what's going on. Um, but I see something shifting here. I do see this King of Wands wanting to take a leap of faith with you and wanting to try the relationship or see where it goes and really enjoy the journey and the process with you. Of course, this is a general reading, so this can be your energy as well, but I'm, I'm feeling this is someone that you are dealing with. But take what resonates and leave, leave the rest behind. Um, but this, the shift from the hanged man to the fool card, there's going to be an energy change from a little bit, um, I don't want to say stuck, but just not moving. So something was kind of at a standstill, and there's going to be movement with that. Uh, which is exciting because really the Fool card is a very light energy card. It's abundance, it's happiness, it's joy, it's kind of, it's taking a leap of faith. To me, it's my footloose and fancy free card. That's what the Fool card is to me. So it's a really positive energy. Let me see what else I've got here for you. Wow, Aquarius. Okay, look, next up we've got Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This could be a leap of faith in marriage or a proposal or moving in together or wanting to take things to the next level. The Justice card really brings truth and balance within partnerships and it, it also uh, kind of requires a 50-50 partnership or, you know, really equally giving and receiving on both sides. And then with this Ten of Pentacles, this is the long-term energy. This is the stability, financial stability, commitment stability and security. Um, you could be talking about a family or getting a pet, just things that are not temporary, okay? There's a lot of not temporary things being talked about, you know, more stability. 
And there's options with that. I feel you and this person, whoever you're dealing with, you have options with what it is that you want to create and choose. They may have different ideas they're bringing to the table. You're bringing different ideas to the table. So this three of wands here is kind of looking at where am I going to take action? What choices are we going to make? What are we going to do to get our dreams to manifest? This is a really positive reading, Aquarius. Let me see what else I've got here. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. I've got the Justice card there. Ten of Pentacles, Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And I already mentioned Fire. Just the Leo card just came out, so you could be dealing with a Leo. All right, so Strength card up next. This is an inner strength which is kind of in alignment with what's going on here. You know, there's an inner strength to get clear of what it is that you want. What are your strongest desires? What are your long-term visions and goals in regards to a partnership? I mean, you've got the 10 of pentacles in the center of your reading. That is a focus of yours right now. And Aquarians, you have been through a lot this year, a lot of change, a lot of healing, a lot of letting go. So I feel like you're getting to the point where you're excited to look to the future. You're excited to get that security and stability in and around you. If that's been missing or if a lot of that has changed for you this year. So this strength card is helping that inner strength come out. And there's going to be a little bit of a test here with the two of swords and the death card. You may reach a point where you maybe fall into an old pattern of disconnecting or not wanting to deal with something or letting the mind really dominate everything and you end up having no clarity because the mind just won't relax. With the death card, I feel, and I say this is going to be a test because I feel the death card is going to squash it quite quickly if that is a pattern or if you do become aware of the mind or the mental energy getting a little bit overbearing. Because these other cards here, the Fool card, the Strength card, um, they're more just heart-centered energy, the soul, the heart, you know, your authenticity, your truth. So when the mind creeps up or the fear creeps up, I feel the Death card, it's a, it's a cycle for you. You're coming out of that cycle. And for the Death card to be the last card out and we're, you know, the 15th is the third and final super new moon in Scorpio. So that new moon for you, Aquarius, I feel is going to be a huge uh, day and, and time and just energy of transition forward. I feel you've cleaned up the rest of, you know, the, the prior 10 months of the year and November is going to be forward movement for you towards stability, security, love. Um, I mentioned could be marriage or a proposal or moving in together, getting a pet, talking about children. Again, things that are for long term. That's really what I'm feeling here, you know, more than anything. It's a long term energy stability. So much stability coming in for you. I feel like some of you watching just went, oh, finally, finally stability. I know, we're all needing some of that right now after the, what this year has been, so. Okay, you've got emerging. Right along with kind of what I'm saying, I feel the emerging card makes me think of a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. You know, we've kind of been in this cocoon for the last 10 months, dealing with things really uncomfortable, a lot of change, um, and it's time to emerge. You're moving forward in your highest and best, best path, Aquarius, and I think you're getting in alignment with what that is and with your truth. The mind and the ego is not dominating as much. You're having a more balance there, and um, this is really beautiful. So I like that. I like that. Kind of confirms the other messages in this reading. Uh, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio. So I've got Leo, Scorpio, and Libra out here. Okay, well, there it is. That was fast. Your spirit animal message, Aquarius, is lion. Higher calling. You have within you all the courage you need. 
Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. How amazing. That's what I'm talking about. Thinking about children, thinking about pets, thinking about marriage. That's like choosing your tribe, choosing your long-term stability. You have all, you have within you all the courage you need. That's what's coming through here, Aquarius. How beautiful. Your spirit animal is, again, lion, higher calling. You are being called at a higher level, Aquarius. You, I think you know that, though. That's why this year has been so tumultuous for so many of us. We're being called to rise above our old patterns, our old ways of being, things that aren't serving us anymore. So I hope that resonates for you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, or your Jupiter, any placement of Aquarius, really. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I do read those. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist. I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. Um, I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work for over two and a half years now. The link below to my website has all the information for you on the distance energy healing and therapy. Uh, you can read about the benefits, definitely read the testimonials page, and you'll see I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I do hope that is helpful for you in some way. The energy therapy is really going to help just cleanse and clear, let go of what you no longer need, bring you into balance, and just get you in alignment with your highest and best self, okay? So again, the link is below. All the info is there. I'm wishing you a wonderful start to November, Aquarians, and I will see you back here for the second half of November readings. Take care.